Blanc, and I'm here today with uh, Nate Shetterly, who is with Accenture Technology Labs. Welcome, Nate. Thank you. Glad to be here. So um, you've been doing some interesting work recently uh, for your clients around what you call uh, moments that matter. Okay, what exactly is a moment that matters? Yeah, moments that matter is uh, kind of a concept we've worked with uh, Fjord with, uh, which is a design studio that Accenture acquired recently. And we're looking at, we're at this interesting place where we understand enough about kind of human behavior and we're now we're starting to track it. We um, can start to modify the technologies that we use to um, uh, approach these moments. And then, you know, of course, keep in mind the business outcomes. But these moments of the matter are um, situations where uh, we can really start to um, customize that moment and make it so that it's, it really turns into a living moment. So if you think about you know, something traditionally you would think about insurance or something like that where they're gonna track these really, really important moments to you know, get you early on and then you know, when you buy a house, make sure you finance with them. But you're, those are really treated in broad categories. Um, you know, this is taking a lot of the um, advancement in kind of personalization to the next level where it's not only personalized to that person, but also to the context around them. Yeah, I guess I'm interested in the uh, kind of enterprise, enterprise context, right, because mm -hmm. um, for every process uh, within an organization, there are individuals that are making decisions. And I think uh, you were saying that um, what we know about behavioral economics uh, has, has changed the way we have to think about designing these processes. Yeah, so if you think about, um, you know, uh, I, in the class we just mentioned, uh, Nudge is a, a great book, um, Richard Thallard, talking about um, all of the behavioral economics pieces on how people make decisions. These Human biases are something that we ignore a lot of times in decision making. Um, you know, uh, the kind of th thinking right now is if I give you a dashboard with all of the right data, you'll make the right decision. But there's a lot of study out there that shows that that's not the case. And there's a lot of reasons why you might make a bad decision. Um, and so looking at those uh, cognitive biases and accounting for those in the uh, decision interfaces or the, the user experiences we create, um, I think has a a large opportunity to create efficiencies and value in enterprise. But isn't that sort of the whole point of uh, artificial intelligence and kind of automating decision making uh, to kind of get rid of a lot of the uh, biases that might lead to bad decisions? Yeah, it's an interesting point with artificial intelligence. You know, we look at that in kind of two categories. Uh, everything that's automated and then everything where you're augmenting a human decision. And even with the automated side of the world, uh, you know, someone's creating that algorithm and, that, and uh, the computation behind that, and those people themselves have bias, as well as the data might have bias from where you're collecting it. So understanding those biases are important in the um, automated side of the world, but really what, um, you know, we're focused on and looking at here is on the side where there's still a human in the loop for some reason, whether the technology is not there yet um, or whether people are just more comfortable, um, by understanding the bias of them and their situation, we can actually lead to better decisions. Uh, and so even with those, I think that the artificial intelligence technology is really what makes this possible at this point. Okay, plus there's the importance of convincing the humans to trust the algorithm. Well, yeah, and that's another thing, depending on how you create a system, um, you know, it, we're, we're gonna get to see this in our lives with um, uh, self-driving cars. How do you convince people to take that leap? Uh, and, um, you know, depending on how you design that system and, and understand who people are and kind of uh, their biases uh, really depends on how, whether they'll adopt that or not. And so, um, yeah, it definitely will be interesting to see. All right. Thanks for coming in, Nate. Mm -hmm.